they're really up on their heels about the education funding, about well, cutting it. Well, again, that, there's three different views. We'll work through this. Okay. Relentless positive action. Relentless positive action. Okay, well, let's talk about the relentless yeah. positive action. State took over Belle Isle through a lease. Yeah. But when you drive through there, the MSP officers, the DNR officers, don't look like 80% of Detroit. What are you doing about the diversity in the Michigan State Police? Oh, we're really trying to improve it. Um, there's a concerted effort to do more recruiting in the minority communities and with women. And I'd appreciate your help. Actually, uh, I'd use this show as an illustration. If people know people that could be good candidates, um, have them get in touch with us. Um, we'll do what we can to help facilitate that process because I want to get more troopers that are from the community um, Yeah, because you have, you have MSP officers now patrolling some of the neighborhoods. They're coming in. We yeah. see the cars not on the freeways. They're coming off the freeways. Yeah, well, it, in it addition to that, we're trying to get them more involved in the communities, though, too, uh, for the current troopers because Michigan State troopers are fabulous people, and they're well-trained. We want to get them more engaged in the community, but longer term, I want to recruit more minority and female representation in MSP. So if anyway, if you have people out there interested, have them get in touch with my office or Michigan State Police, and we'll follow through. Um, that's a big goal. We've actually tried to modify some of our testing requirements to be more proactive. Mm -hmm. um, we've upped our recruiting efforts in terms of um, troopers and officials going